looky here. It's my new campaign manager. Got a new job for you. Do you know what gerrymandering is? Of course you don't. You're a regular American, just like me. It's boring egghead stuff involving redrawn voting districts, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, the election's coming up, and them eggheads tell me I'm fucked in the polls because those goddamn Peggy's ain't gonna be voting for me. Say what you will about lunatic cult movements, but the bottom line is they vote. Now, the eggheads say the only chance I got at winning would be to go back in time and gerrymander them district lines so the Peggy's ain't counted. And that got me to thinking I could just as easily win if them Peggy's just didn't show up to vote. Now, I'm not telling you how to go about such a thing, wink, wink, but a permanent solution to my temporary problem would work best if you catch my meaning. Obviously, I'm not saying to murder anyone because that's still illegal. It is still technically illegal, right? But if there were less Peggy's around because they somehow tripped and fell on several dozens of bullets, it would probably help my chances. The district in question is up at the crossroads by the Grill Street Diner. You could take my idiot son with you. He's not good at much, but he can shoot okay. And you know, if this were ever to blow back on us, it would be good to have Patsy. I don't even think he'd get jail time on account of him being a little touched. Well, what you waiting for? Get moving. Canadians are also pretty clumsy and not voting for me, but no pressure. 